New at five, as we continue to learn more about the coronavirus, we're also learning more about the potential side effects. That includes a heart condition that factored into the decisions by two major college conferences to postpone the fall sports season. Dr. Maria Simbra explains what the condition is and why it's leading to so much concern. Several otherwise healthy college athletes with COVID-19 have myocarditis, inflammation of the heart. You don't really see the virus molecule in the heart. You see the body's response to the virus. This condition can happen 1-5% to of the time with other viral illnesses, but up to 60% with the novel coronavirus, with or without symptoms. We have seen cases of COVID and we have seen cases of COVID myocarditis, and we have seen cases of uh, weak hearts that have followed COVID infection. The heart inflammation can be deadly when people are very sick, but can linger even after people recover. That can cause pain in the chest, it can cause shortness of breath. Medicines can help a weak heart if caught early, but picking up ongoing inflammation or weakness requires testing, including heart rhythm tests, ultrasounds, blood tests, and MRIs. The cost can add up. But the average person who recovers from COVID generally will not get these tests if they're feeling well. We do them pretty frequently at an academic medical center. They're not widely available, a lot of small towns. One concern is the inflammation, leading to scarring, leading to heart rhythm abnormalities. Sudden cardiac death in this country is rare, but it's not unheard of. And a lot of those cases are probably related to viral infections or inflammation of the heart. Should athletes play during a pandemic? The question is, are these people at risk, especially under circumstances like training and playing in football games? I don't think anyone knows what the risk is after recovery from COVID. If we don't have adequate testing, there could be a lot of undiagnosed cases, and those people could have uh, heart issues from COVID without us knowing it. And how people weigh the risks and benefits will be different for everyone. I'm Dr. Maria Sembra, KDKA News.